So FLIT3 ITD AML, uh, uh, MRD in AML, we conducted uh, these studies very recently and, and there we looked at the uh, persistence of FLIT3 ITD in uh, complete remission in uh, patients treated with high dose chemotherapy. And FLIT3 ITD has always been considered an, uh, not such a good marker for MRD because it may, might have been uh, quite unstable. And, and also these ITDs are always very patient specific such that it's difficult to really determine each and every patient specific ITD. So with now with uh, next generation sequencing this is possible. So this is what we did. So with next generation sequencing we determined the persistence of FLIT3 ITD in complete remission. And what we showed is that persistence of this FLIT3 ITD in complete remission is uh, very strongly associated with uh, increased risk of relapse. So uh, uh, the increased risk of relapse is, is uh, uh, shown from 25% uh, in patients that are MRD negative, FLIT3 ITD MRD negative, to 75% of cases that uh, uh, have FLIT3 ITD persisting mutations. So I think that FLIT3 ITD is the perfect marker for uh, uh, this subtype of AML. So if you look at the persistence of the FLIT3 ITD that is uh, present at uh, a diagnosis, uh, we can determine them very well because we can sequence them deeply and if we can detect them it's a strong indicator for a relapse.